What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving. I know we did here at the house. Uh, with it getting time to be the holidays, it's time to start getting into some different kind of meals and stuff. So what we're going to do tonight is something that I've posted quite a few times on my personal page. We're going to be doing cast iron chicken tonight. Um, it's going to be a really cool dish. We've already got the chicken done, uh, prepped. I'll basically just clean them up. Salt him up, put him in the refrigerator, we'll see him in an hour. So we won't even go through all that. Uh, we're going to go through one or two other quick things real fast to show you what we're going to be using. First thing, bacon. Doo -doo. Red onions. And last but not least, this mean little bugger. This is an acorn squash. Uh, before you jump the gun, it is not like yellow squash. It's not like zucchini. It's not super watery. Uh, seed wise yeah it is um they're more akin to pumpkins and butternut squashes in other words they're really really hard they're dense and they take a long time to cook usually about an hour but in the aftermath of it they have a real sweet potato type texture to it whenever you get them done and they do real good with this dish we're gonna go ahead and get him cut up real fast I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and get him process about how getting him into him and getting all this fun stuff squared off of them. So let's watch. Okay, basically that's what it looks like when you cut one in half. We went on ahead and we took the top off of it the best we could. That way make cutting a whole lot easier. See how dense he is. We're gonna take a spoon and we're gonna get all that fun stuff out right there. And then we're gonna start getting skin off. Okay, got it all out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut along with the edges. We're gonna get that part off too make life a whole lot easier cut them with them ridges I'm not going to use small pieces for this dish we're going to use bigger pieces like this because it takes an hour because of the chicken anyway so might as well have good big pieces to go with this he's not going to cooperate Find a little quick thing to do and get this out y'all's way. I'm done about like that right there. I'm gonna cut them little edges off. It makes life a little bit easier when it comes to holding them. Tater paper does the absolute best when it comes to this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two of these. We're gonna throw them in the bowl and get them seasoned up. Put some salt and pepper and stuff on them. Like I said, they are a little bit tough, but it is well worth the effort. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take your onion and cut them in the quarters. Go ahead and take your head, your heads off of them on both ends. Go ahead and get them done up. <clears throat> cut them into big slice down pieces so they'll still have texture whenever you're in the process of cooking. I'm going to do two of those. Right. Last but not least, I'm going to chop up roughly six pieces of bacon. I already got the other half ready to rock and roll. Now, bacon's cut up, onions cut up. That's what acorn squash looks like when he's all said and done. Now, time to get the chicken out. Okay, here's what's going on now, okay? 425, put your cast iron in there. Use a big one, okay? Olive oil on him, 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 and, him, and her, okay? For the veggies and the bacon, we're using, it's a secret mix left over. For the chicken wise, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, smoked hot paprika, and thyme, okay? He's gonna go all over it and only on the insides. So as soon as we get that done, we'll show you what it's prepped up and what it looks like before we throw it back in the oven. And it's gonna go in there for about an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, here we go. Oven's ready. First things first. <clears throat> Get 
get this big old pop thing out. Now. Put them in there, get some of that juice in. Scattered them. Try not to, they're gonna bunch up a little bit. Some of them bigger pieces. Just try to flatten them out as much as you can. Next is onions. Spray everybody out a little bit too. Bacon! <laughs> Yep, that's everybody. Kick out to the size as well. It'll be a little high up on the centers. I mean, on the sides of it, so a little bit high up, that'd be okay. You gotta have it kind of a hole just a little bit. Now, the bird. <coughs> that is her. Now, that was one. We're going to start it on the back side up first. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start with them thighs up wise because they take the longest thighs and legs actually do. So we're going to let them go ahead and get the most of my heat first. We'll flip it over halfway through so the brush can get that halfway done as well. So they'll get completely finished. And everything then when all that's said and done we're going to get it out and we're going to wrap it up let them sit for about another 20 minutes <laughs> we're ready Here's the thing, I'm fixing to go ahead and cover it. We're gonna go to eating it. Y'all wanna continue seeing cool stuff like this? Do me a favor, hit like, share, and subscribe. Peace.